today we're talking all about shooting accuracy. How many times have you taken a shot, a really nice hard shot, but it goes right down the middle and the keeper just grabs it or punches it away? Or even worse, how many times do you try to rip the ball as hard as you can and you hit it wide or put it over the top? If you want to score more goals, think about being more accurate. So I want to give you a couple tips on how to be accurate. times you hit a shot like this that shot right there even though it's super hard isn't as valuable as that shot right there just passing it in the corner especially when the ball is getting away from you or you're off balance really make sure that you get it on net okay so that shot right there low and in the corner is much more likely to score than first of all a shot that I hit really hard but I don't get it on net or like I said a shot really hard but it's right down the middle if you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. So think about taking a little off your shots. Most important is that you hit the net. I tell my players all the time, I don't care how hard you can hit it. I care if you can hit the net consistently at least nine out of 10 times. If you're getting it on net, you're likely to score goals. Sometimes you have a bad shot, but it's still on net, just like that, and the keeper will let it in. Okay, so make sure you get your shots on target. How do I make the ball go where I want it to go? hit it with laces you can hit it with the inside of your foot you can hit it toe hack you can do whatever you want the same principle is apply if I want to keep the ball down I want to get my body over it okay if I'm swinging from back here and lunging at the ball and I'm hitting underneath the ball it's gonna go high every time or it's gonna be out of control every time get your body over it also my body positioning if my body is faced this way and I go to strike it you can see my body is pointing the ball over this way, so the ball is going to travel that way. If I swing through the ball and I end up like this, a lot of people do this, my body is pointing this way, the ball is going to go across the net, you're going to miss it wide. If I just want to get the ball straight on target, I make sure that when I hit it, okay, my body is traveling forward towards the net. If I'm swinging and I'm falling through like this, like a lot of us do, the ball is going to go there. Or if I'm too open like this, the ball is going to go there. So when you're taking shots, Let's say you're practicing by yourself or in a game and you miss the ball wide. Think about, okay, where did my body end up? If you were like this and the ball went over there, that's because you opened up your body too much. Okay, so get your body going towards the goal. If you want to improve faster and achieve more this season, use the Soccer Success Planner. It's 100% free. Players all around the world have already used it to improve. You can download it right now. There's a link in the description below. Next thing is your follow through. When I'm done making my shot, my foot should be pointed over there. Guide the ball, push the ball there. Don't just hit it, don't just hit like a snapshot. Don't just hit it like this, stop your follow through and hope that it goes where you want it to go. Okay, you wanna push it there, guide it there with your follow through. So like I said, if I want it to go to that corner, I'm gonna make sure I follow through there. Everything body over the ball, body still going towards the net. Something like that, okay, hit that corner. And as, as you guys can see, I'm hitting bottom corners. Did you know that 70% of goals are in the bottom third of the net? Why? Because the goalkeeper can get to this. The goalkeeper can get to these. I'm sure you've hit a really strong mid-level shot and the keeper just punches it away. Okay, but those low ones, that's way tougher to get down there. So think about keeping your shots low. Your foot technique is so important. Keep that flex foot. Whether I'm hitting it laces or whether I'm hitting with the inside of my foot, I still need that strong flex foot. If I have a weak limb foot, it's gonna be a weak shot and it's also gonna be uncontrollable. It's not gonna go where you want. Hitting those bottom corners, that's where you're gonna score your goals. This video means nothing if you aren't willing to practice. Shooting is one of the most difficult skills to master, and if you wanna become good at it, it's all about getting in that consistent practice so you need to find ways to get more shots before training after training during training 
every opportunity you get. Can you get that ball? Can you start getting shots on net? From moving up divisions to making national teams, players who use the online soccer academy get results. Access elite level coaching and training, become a complete player, make a difference on the field and get noticed when you play. Limited spots available, apply today, start improving tomorrow, link in the description below.